morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you for our time together. Right now, I want us to come to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Paul was so different than modern compromising preachers. He says in chapter 5, verse 1, I can hardly believe the report about the sexual immorality going on among you. Whoa, Paul took a stand. Paul wasn't so concerned about church attendance that he never stood up and challenged the people about living right. He said something that even pagans don't do. I am told that a man in your church is living in sin with his stepmother. A young man is having sex with his stepmother. And you are so proud of yourselves, but you should be in mourning and sorrow and shame, and you should remove this man from your fellowship. Well, Paul, where's your grace? Paul is the greatest preacher of grace that has ever lived after our Savior. But Paul understood there's a difference between salvation by grace and living a sanctified life. Paul challenged the church of Corinth to get rid of the sexual immorality among you, and that sometimes means telling people, don't come back to church again. (gasps) What what about grace? (laughs) Folks, grace teaches us to say no to ungodliness. Go read the Bible. Read everything the Bible has to say about grace. Now, we live in a modern Christian world where preachers are more concerned about their church attendance than they are with do people live right? They don't care if people are drunken. They don't care if board members have number twos. They don't care if people are sleeping around. They don't care as long as people give their tithe and pay their offerings, you know? Brothers and sisters, we need a move of God. We need a revival. And it needs to start with the preachers so that we will be like Paul. And we'll stand up and we'll say, you know what? This is wrong. And it's not something you should be proud about. And it's not something that you should stand up and say, oh, isn't it how wonderful, how accepting we are. Instead, it should cause us to mourn and grieve that such a thing is happening among us. And you should drive the sexually immoral out of the church. Now, people have gotten mad at me all my life. Because if we've got a guy who just can't keep his zipper up, I just tell him to leave. I don't care what position they are. If you've got a young girl who can't keep her legs together, I just say, leave. Leave. You know, if you're not going to live right, don't hang around church and, and pretend that somehow that's going to make everything all right. That's, that's just giving people a false sense of hope, and it's not real. Salvation, real salvation, changes our hearts, and we don't want that sin anymore. So I challenge you today. When your pastors take a strong stand and say, folks, we're going to live right around here, be in support of that in Jesus' name. 